All right, everybody, welcome back. This is your man, Gillis the Kid. I am here again with another online review. This time, we're going to be taking a look at the GoPro Hero 8 Black. GoPro just announced a new camera, two new cameras, actually. But the Hero 8 Black is the successor to the Hero 7 Black. And we're going to take a look and see if this camera is right for you. If you have a Hero 7 Black, maybe you might want to upgrade and uh, get a better camera. We're gonna take a look at some of the features. This camera will start off at a uh, $399.99. And let's just take a look at some of the new features and find out if it's worth it. GoPro always has good deals on their website when it comes to upgrading to a new camera. Um, so they say it has HyperSmooth 2.0 stabilization and it also has a built-in mount, which I find is pretty cool. You can see it right there on the bottom. And you can mod it out. So you can add lights, microphones, and more. So there's the media mod. You get a premium shotgun mic. There's a 3.5 millimeter mic and an HDMI port. And you get two cold shoe mounts all in one so that's pretty cool there's also a display mod so you get a flip up camera screen for framing your shots and you can vlog you can see everything exactly as if you were using like an ordinary camera then there's a light mod it's like a little LED light that you can uh, stick on top of the camera they also have a digital lens, so they've added like another camera feature. So there's narrow, linear, wide, and super view. And this is what it looks like. Super view is a uh, 16 millimeter. There's wide, linear, and narrow. So that's how your shots are gonna look. Then there's HyperSmooth 2.0, so it's supposed to have even more stabilization to the videos they have something called boost there's an example there's there's a guy snowboarding it does look pretty smooth but of course I'm gonna have to test it out myself when I get the real camera then there's time warp 2.0 so all you have to do is tap on the screen to speed it up or slow it down they also give you a pretty good example of that right here in the video what is she skateboarding I think she was skateboarding then they have something called super photo with improved HDR so uh, your photos are gonna be really crisp and clear they give you an example of that right here on the website there's live burst so you can share a three second 4k video clip and you can edit it right in GoPro's app or whatever software you use. There's Nightscape video. This is a pretty important feature, especially when I shoot videos. So you can shoot in 4K, 2.7, 1440, and 1080p. That's always a good thing, shooting at night. High fidelity audio. So again, just like the Hero 7 Black, this camera has three microphones, so it's going to reduce wind noise. Now, most of the time when I shot videos, it was outside. It did a pretty good job reducing wind noise, but you still might want to get like a wind filter if you can. It's rugged and waterproof, so it can be submerged uh, 33 feet, 10 meters in water. There's the GoPro app where you can edit your photos and videos. GoPro has like its own unlimited cloud uh, subscription. And then it has voice commands so you can say stuff like GoPro start recording or GoPro turn on. Just like you do with the iPhones when you say hey Siri. And here it is the Hero 8 Black. It's going to run you about 400 bucks. 
And if you order it off of GoPro's website, they give you a free 32 gig SD card included. They've always did that, um, which is a pretty good deal. I'm waiting for Black Friday. Sometimes GoPro will give you $50 off or $100 off if you trade in your old camera. Um, let me see. So you can pre-order it. I believe this comes out in November. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, let's compare it with the 7. And it'll show you all all the features and if you really want to upgrade or not so we're gonna pick seven and eight here there's also a max camera so you can grab the hero 7 black for 329.99 the hero 8 black will run you 400 bucks so right here the 7 has a 12 megapixel plus super photo with HDR and the 8 has a 12 megapixel camera with super photo and improved HDR. So I'm guessing it's even clearer. Okay, there's live burst. So that's the only camera that's going to give you that. Uh, power pano, which is like a panorama view. Only the Max camera has that. There's super photo. So again, uh, it just says improved HDR and they both cameras shoot in 4k resolution at 60 frames per second uh, one of the big difference is the bit rate so the hero 8 is going to be uh, 2.7 and 4k so if you shoot in those resolutions it's going to give you 100 megabytes per second bit rate which is which is pretty impressive for that little size camera they both have removable batteries i think gopro said something on twitter about you can use the same batteries as the hero 7 black they're both uh rugged and waterproof frameless mounting with folding fingers so just like they showed you in the picture the Hero 8 Black, it has built-in uh, mounting, which is excellent. And then they have the uh, Hero 8 Black mods that I just showed you. They both have touchscreen. And as far as video stabilization, uh, the 8 is going to give you HyperSmooth 2.0. Uh, they got the GoPro app, Time Warp 2.0. So everything is just a little bit better but like I said you, you know you're gonna have to test this out yourself or watch a video of someone testing all this stuff out and the 7 has super view wide and linear the 8 has super view wide linear and narrow and uh, raw photo capture that's gonna be available in all modes on the 8 and another cool feature the 8 has is preset, uh, custom preset settings. So uh, let's just say if you wanted to shoot in 4K resolution, you can set that. And whenever you turn the camera on, it's going to automatically uh, shoot what you set. Uh, customizable shortcuts. They both have voice control. They both have wake on voice. They both have time lapse video. Uh, the 8 is going to give you that night lapse video mode, which looks pretty cool. They both have slow-mo. Now, live streaming, uh, you can live stream in 1080p on the 8. It was only 720 with the 7. So they've upped the resolution uh, when you live stream. I think you can only do it on Facebook. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's GPS, uh, metadata. They both have that GP1 chip. And uh, GoPro, I think when you buy the camera, they give you that GoPro Plus subscription. There's like a 30-day trial or something like that. And both cameras have three microphones, stereo auto, 
audio, I'm sorry. And then there's uh, one of the cool things I like right here. So the media mod for the 8, um, it's going to give you that 3.5 millimeter mic adapter. So you don't have to go on Amazon and buy third party stuff. It is sold separately though, just keep that in mind. They both have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. They both connect to the GoPro app. Auto upload to cloud, which is the GoPro Plus subscription. They both have GPS and an HDMI video out cable. Um, so let's take a look at the accessories because they're raving about all the mods that you can hook up to this camera. So that's the that's the rechargeable battery. That's what they look like. There's a battery charger, a dual battery charger, and a battery. There's the protective housing, and then right here you have the media mod. Oh my God, it's eighty bucks. <laughs> the media mod is eighty dollars. GoPro is not cheap at all. So that's the shotgun mic. Let me see if I can get a closer look. Okay, and this is all brand new stuff. So it works with these cameras. It has a built-in directional mic and a 3.5 millimeter port for your external microphones. So, oh, that's, yeah, that's pretty nice. It looks pretty cool. They got the, uh... HDMI port for it. So yeah, that looks that looks pretty cool. There's a picture of a guy holding it right there on the basketball court. Um, yeah, let's go back and look at the other one. So this is the display mod. Uh, let's see what this does. It's a flip up screen that lets you see yourself in action. Compact and perfect for vloggers. So it looks like it fits right on the top. There's a picture of a guy holding it. So it looks like he's shooting a video of himself and he can see at the top what it looks like. So that's that's pretty cool. And now he's on the motorcycle, he's shooting himself, and he can see like what it looks like. Okay, I get it. So we, we get what that is. That's also a uh, $79.99. And then they have this light mod here. Let me check that out. So it's an LED light. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's basically a light that you attached to the top of the GoPro now it's starting to look like an actual camera that looks pretty cool I like that it's 50 bucks though yeah that's a lot of money so you figure let's see so you figure 400 160 so that's 560 I mean you're looking at all you're looking at over 600 bucks if you want to get the hero 8 black and all those accessories for it but just like I said before I'm gonna wait until Black Friday I paid four hundred dollars for the hero 7 black if GoPro gives me a good deal on their website then yeah maybe I'll probably upgrade but it's really not too much of a difference between the 7 and the 8 but let me know what you guys think about the new Hero 8 Black let me know if if you have a GoPro uh, Hero 7 if you're thinking about upgrading or not but that's all I have for now if I've missed anything please let me know down into the comments I want to thank everybody for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.